Hello everybody, I am Nico D and this is gameplay from the Kadas Edge 2 so with the RK3588 S and it is using the rockship blob but it is using panfrost so with pan fork so in this video I'm going to show you how to install panfrost on the Kadas Edge 2 so we will start with a clean image with Ubuntu 2204 server so I went into Uwo so to go into OWO you press the middle button on the Kadas H2 and when it is booting or you keep the middle button pressed and you press the left button to reboot. So in OWO just install the image and then reboot. Then login. The login name is Kadas and the password is Kadas. Now we first connect our Wi-Fi, so I am using NMCLI, Network Manager for CLI. It is simple to use, so NMCLI, Dev, Wi-Fi, then your network name. Then password and type your password. Then we do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Now we have to download this file, so type all this. And then we have to copy it to this location. And now we add this repository. Then we do sudo apt updates. And again sudo apt upgrades. That is all that's needed to do to install panfrost. And now we will install a desktop. So I will install Xubuntu. This installs the XFCE desktop, but also the GNOME desktop. And we do need the GNOME desktop. I tried to install the Cinnamon desktop first and that didn't work. So it is best to have the GNOME desktop also installed. And I want to use the XFCE desktop. I don't want to use Wayland. I just want to use X11 with Box86, Box64 and PPSSPP. So let that install. And then reboots. Now we log in into our desktop. Again cut us. Now let's show you the output of helix info dash b. And as you see here it is using the panfrost driver and not LLVM pipe. So this is awesome. Now we can install games and we can install Box86 and Box64. So for that I am using Armbian Gaming. It also works on other Ubuntu images. So you can install everything with this. And now we can play games. So here is Xonotic with Box64. It runs great, not perfect, but a little bit better than on the Android N2+. Some programs and some games will run great, some others will not run that good. So with the Wayland driver for example, I am getting 110 frames per second with Super Tux cards. While with Panfrost I am only getting 60 frames a second. But that is still a lot better than most other SBCs. So PPSSPP also runs great with these settings. So skip buffer effects. And then we can even use scaling. So I'm using 2 times scaling. And this runs great. So as you see, Panfrost runs good on the RK3588. We used to only have Wayland with a blob driver from Rockchip. That blob driver does perform very good. 
but it only runs on Waylands and doesn't run x11 software and most games are built for x11. So I wasn't that happy with the Wayland acceleration. But now since we have got this GPU driver, the RK3588 has become a lot more useful. A big thanks to Ice Cream 97 I think. And to everybody who has helped with the Pan Frost drivers and with Pan Fork. Also big thank you to Petit Sap for making Box 86 and Box 64. So that will be it for today. Now I can start working on my review about the Kadas H2. So all subscribe to my channel, please like this video, see you all later, bye!